హలో అండి క్యూములేటివ్ ప్రాబబిలిటీ ఇస్ ది వన్ ఆఫ్ ది ఇంపార్టెంట్ కాన్సెప్ట్స్ వీ నీడ్ టు కన్సిడర్ సో వన్ ఆఫ్ ది మెయిన్ మెథడ్స్ టు క్యాలిక్యులేట్ ది క్యూములేటివ్ ప్రాబబిలిటీ ఈజ్ బై యూజింగ్ ది జెడ్ స్కోర్స్ సో ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో ఐ విల్ షో యూ ద క్యాలిక్యులేషన్ ఆఫ్ క్యూములేటివ్ ప్రాబబిలిటీస్ బై యూజింగ్ జెడ్ స్కోర్స్ విత్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్స్ అండ్ ఆల్సో ఐ విల్ షో ది పైథాన్ కోడ్ టు గెట్ ఇట్ మై నేమ్ ఇస్ రత్న కిషోర్ వెల్కమ్ టు ద క్యాష్ ఛానల్ in this channel i upload the videos for undergraduate students both in electronics and computer science domains let's start the topic cumulative probabilities here the objective is to find out the cumulative probability p of x less than x where x is a normally distributed random variable which is having the mean mu and the standard deviation sigma to get this cumulative probability we have two steps the first one is we need to find out the z score for the corresponding value x in the second step we need to find out the probability by using cumulative normal probability table now i am considering the first step procedure to find out the z score if you want to standardize the value x we need a formula z is equal to x minus mu divided by standard deviation sigma by using this formula we are going to find out the z score for the corresponding x then i am considering an example so we need to find out the z score of a value 465 from a normal distribution which is having a mean 499 and the standard deviation 46 here the x value is 465 and the mean mu is 499 and the standard deviation sigma is 46 by substituting those values in the above formula we got the z score as minus 0.7391 coming to the second step now we need to find out the cumulative probability p of z less than z in our previous example we got the z value as minus 0.7391 which i am going to consider approximately as minus 0.74 now we need to find out the probability of z less than minus 0.74 if we consider standard normal distribution which is having the mean 0 and standard deviation 1 here we have identified the z score minus 0.74 now we need to find out the left side area for this minus 0.74 now we are not going to use any formula to find out the cumulative probability here instead we are considering the cumulative probability table now in order to get the probability first we have to identify the row and the corresponding column here if you add the row label and the column label we need to get the corresponding z score here our z score is minus 0.74 then i am identifying the row with a label minus 0.7 and then i am identifying the column with the value 0.4 then finally we got the intersection point which is having the probability of the z score minus 0.74 then finally our probability for this problem is 0.22965 now i am considering another example here we need to find out the cumulative probability that is p of z greater than or equal to z now the same example i am considering as the z score value z greater than or equal to minus 0.74 now i am going to calculate here if you observe this standard normal distribution as i said earlier which will have the mean 0 and the standard deviation 1 after identifying minus 0.74 value on the z axis we need to find out the right side area of this point since the total probability of this entire curve is 1 we can get this right side area as 1 minus the left side area so here the left side area we can get as p of z less than minus 0.74 then if we subtract that left side probability from the 1 automatically you can get the right side probability which is p of z greater than or equal to minus 0.74 we have already identified p of z minus 0.74 by using the row label and the corresponding column label which we got as 0.22965 if we subtract that from the 1 we got 0.77035 which is the cumulative probability p of z greater than or equal to minus 0.74 
Now we can say that if you want to find out the area which is right side of your jet score then find out the area which is having the left side of the jet score and subtract that value from the one then you can get the required area to the right side of our jet score. And uh, finally I am going to consider a one more example where we have a random variable that is the scores of university students which is normally distributed with a mean 75 under standard deviation 8. Now we need to find out the probability that a randomly selected student has the score less than 85. Now we have to proceed with the same whole two steps. The first step is we need to calculate the jet score and the second step is we need to find out the cumulative probability from that jet score. So we have the formula z is equal to x minus mu by sigma by using that if you calculate the z score we got 1.25 here. Then in order to find out the cumulative probabilities which is nothing but p of z less than 1.25 I am considering normal distribution table here. Then after identifying the row with the label 1.2 and the column with the label 0.05 then I got the probability here it is 0.89435. So that is the end of examples. Now we are going to consider a python code to simulate these two steps to get the cumulative probability. Now as a first step I am going to define a function which will standardize the given value x. That means it returns a z score of the given value x. So to find out the second step we are going to consider the relationship between cumulative distribution function and the error function. So the relationship is like this. Cumulative distribution function is equal to 1 plus error function of the z score divided by root 2 whole divided by 2. Then I am defining a function to get it. Here error function is part of the math module. That's why I am importing the math module and then I am returning the value which is computed by using this particular relationship. Now I am going to read the mean standard deviation and the value of x from the user. Now I am finding the z score by using z score function that I have defined by using the same x and mean and standard deviation values and then I am displaying that z score. After that I am calling the cdf function by supplying that z value as input to get the corresponding cumulative probability cp and then I am displaying that cp value if I run this cell then it is asking for the mean of the distribution here I am considering the same example which is having the mean 75 on the standard deviation 8 and then x value is 85 then I am supplying the mean as 75 and the standard deviation is 8 and then the x value to compute the cumulative probability is 85. Then we got the z score as 1.25 and the cumulative probability as 0.89435. So in that way we can simulate the way of finding cumulative probabilities through z scores. So that's all guys. This is the end of today's video. I will meet you with a new video soon.